Hello there, everyone. Ryan and Wine Guy here. What up? It's Tony. Double T. Double T. And we are doing a <coughs> white wine, a Sauvignon Blanc. Yep. Um, as you remember, Tony was here a couple weeks ago, or I was here at his place, I'm at his place a couple weeks ago, and we were doing a Pinot Grigio. So today we'll be doing a Sauvignon Blanc. I feel that Tony is really more into the white wines. I definitely agree with that one. All right. Well, we're going to show you what the bottle is today. Today is going to be a Kim Crawford 2015 Sauvignon Blanc out of the Marlboro region of New Zealand. So, New Zealand wine. Here's the bottle. And it's uh, a green bottle. Kim Crawford makes other wines. They have a Pinot um, Noir. They have unoaked Chardonnay. Uh, I think they even have a Pinot Grigio. So they've got quite a selection. Uh, a little bit about this. Um, as I said, the 2015. It's 13% uh, alcohol by volume. So pretty standard for a Sauvignon Blanc. It is imported by Constellation Imports out of Rutherford, California. And here's just a little synopsis about this. Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc dazzles with aromas of intense tropical fruit and fresh cut grass notes. The palate bursts with passion fruit, citrus, and ripe stone fruit flavors. From exceptional vineyards in a New Zealand famous marble region, we proudly craft this exuberant Sauvignon Blanc, delicious with fresh seafood, goat cheese, salad, or on its own. And that's the wine in the glass. There's Tony's glass. Uh, I'm going to start off by doing some uh, sniffing notes, and then I'll let my friend Tony <laughs> see... Um, if he can match as much as I can, so... Probably not. Okay. <clears throat> well, I do get these nice little dancing citrusy fruits. I'm getting a lot of... I'm getting lemon. I'm definitely getting this uh, kind of uh, punchy uh, grapefruit on it. Uh, definitely that kind of grassy freshness on it like a fresh cut lawn you're getting on that I'm also getting some tropical notes a little bit of uh, like hints of a pineapple and I'm even getting a little bit of green apple on the nose um, Tony my man what do you think uh what he said <laughs> I mean you know, this is just, um I definitely noticed the difference. The difference between the, um, from what I tried last time. Um, I'm trying to, I don't know if it's like, I don't know. I, I do notice the difference. I, I can't tell you why. But I, well, I, 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 last time we did a Pinot Grigio. Okay. So Pinot Grigios are dominantly, um, what, what, what they call neutral wines. There's, there's really no smell to them. They're, they're very. Um, <coughs> Um, non-aromatic, where Sauvignon Blancs are bursting with fruit and freshness and crispness and acidity. Yeah, I, I smell that, yeah. All right, well, here's what we're going to do <clears throat> on the palate. Oh, man. Remarkable. It is just like a nice, mouth-watering, <clears throat> crisp, refreshing... Just goes down so easily. Dancing with that passion fruit that is said. Semi little grapefruit, so you get a slight little tartness to it. Mm -hmm. Now nothing overpowering, but you do get this slight <clears throat> little like pucker in your mouth. Um, you're also getting these nice citrusy um, lemon lime. I even want to say a little bit of orange rim in that as well. Yeah, there was definitely like a um, a grapefruit taste. I I got um let me, let me do it again but there was definitely that 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 fruit you know fruit burst that he was talking about yeah there's something diff there's yeah I think it's like gra grapefruit or pineapple or, or or something in there um thanks Nicole I think I think, Nicole? I think that was yeah yeah, yeah. 
Um, yeah, actually, um, uh, I am now kind of dancing on a tongue. You are getting these kind of tropical notes now. The pineapple is really starting to come out. Um, there's even a little bit of, um, I want to <clears throat> say, some sort of, yeah, maybe like a melon, maybe like a, 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 a cantaloupe sort of uh, taste to it. I don't know if Tony. Well, not me. No, Tony's I don't. Not. No, Ryan's definitely the one. I, yeah, I'm more M. Um, but you know, this wine just happens to be something that I think suits well to Tony that he can really taste what's in there. Yeah, um, all the props but, go to him. But but yeah, I, I'm sort of getting this kind of like melony, maybe <clears throat> cantaloupe uh, finish as well. So, I mean, almost like all the nice tropical citrusy. Uh, fruit you can think of are, are, are definitely either on the nose or in the palate. Um, what to rate this? Uh, well, first of all, um, price. Uh, sometimes I've been forgetting to mention the price. Price, Kim Crawford, eh, you're kind of in that 15 to $20 <coughs> range. Although, uh, some places you might be able to even get them on sale between uh, 10 99 and 12 99 I know this one at uh, my store, I believe we have it on sale for ten ninety nine, and then some of their higher ups are like their Pinot Noir, that usually goes for around twelve ninety nine, and that's on sale. Not on sale, yeah, you're looking about uh, maybe 15 for the Sauvignon Blanc, 15, maybe fifteen ninety nine. So, but still well worth it because I'm going to give this a nice, I'm going to give this a nice whopping four out of five. Um, I feel... Actually, belay that. I'm, I'm going to give it a four and a half. Um, and the reason why I'm going to actually mark it up is because of just how how long this finish is. I mean, I, I've only had to take, I think, one, maybe even two sips since I've been um, doing this review. And usually you all see me just drinking away, just trying to really figure out these extra notes. But I feel like this has all the notes on it from the first sip. And it's just dazzling with this still sort of refreshing finish of these fruits so that's why i'm going to give it a four and a half because it's still dancing on my tongue it's still i don't need to i don't need, i don't need to rush this wine this is a wine that i can easily drink when i want to drink it now granted it's a white wine so we do want to make sure that it still stays relatively chill um but, yeah, I feel like this is a, a definitely a, a great wine. Um, definitely a good summertime wine. Um, it is a little chilly today, but I, I still feel that this would be an overall year-round wine, depending on uh, what sort of mood you're in. Tony? Well, um, I'm actually going to not go <clears throat> on Ryan's side, even though I, I did finish it. But um, I think actually I like the one we had last time better. And I'm going to... And again, we're two different people here, you know. Um, I'm going to give this probably for me. I don't really like a lot of tart, uh, tartness here. And I'm getting a lot of that on, in here. Um, and even though there is a big burst of flavor, um, it, it's not, you know, it's not that, like, it's not a, it's not the citrus kind of stuff that I like. So I'm going to say a, a 3.75 for me. So There you go. I mean, that, that's still a pretty decent rating, you know. Still a pretty decent rating. Um, yeah, so, and that is one big major difference about uh, Pinot Grigio's or Pinot Gris and then um, Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blancs, especially from New Zealand, because there are many different Sauvignon Blancs in different uh, countries and different regions. And from what I've noticed is where no one Sauvignon Blanc really tastes the same. It tastes as if it should be. In its region. So as you all know, I did a Bogle one a couple weeks ago, which was more or less tart than this one. So New Zealand does tend to have that more zippity, zazzy, sesty, uh, zingy, no, or whatever, however you like to name it on it. Um, and whereas Pinot Grigios are usually more <clears throat> of a um, bone dry, neutral wine, you're just getting these little um, pluckers of fruit, but... Nothing as far as this goes. But, you know, um, I think it's been long enough now. Wow, almost 10 minutes. See, I'm getting shorter my reviews because now I'm getting everything out in time. 
Um, but with that, everyone, uh, I'm glad we got a couple people watching this. And uh, I'm Ryan the Wine Guy. And I'm Tony Double T. And we'll be seeing you next time. Cheers.